everyone. My name is Remy Lachikwi, a third year medicine student from UCSM, and I'm here to discuss and demonstrate about intramuscular injection for pediatric clinical skills. Intramuscular injection, coming from its word intra and muscular, means that the medication is delivered deep into the muscles, which will be directly absorbed into the bloodstream. The best locations for intramuscular injection are the upper arm or the deltoid, hips, thigh, and buttocks. This is because the muscles are big and easy to locate and there are less fatty tissues. Intramuscular technique is commonly used for vaccines such as DPT, pentavalent, hepatitis A and B, and flu vaccine. For smaller children, the injection site will be in the vastus lateralis muscle, which is located at the anterior lateral aspect on the upper thigh. While for older children, the injection site will be in the deltoid muscle, which is located at the outer aspect of the upper arm. To locate this, we must palpate the acromion process, make a triangle, and inject 2.5 meters below the landmark. Draw up 0.5 ml of vaccine in a slanting position where the vaccine is slightly higher than the needle. Close the needle with its cover. Detach it and attach 23 to 25 gauge needle to the syringe. Make sure that it is intact and firm. Also, make sure that the needle is working. And then properly dispose the used needle. Ask for the parent's consent. Also ask if the child has any allergies or has bleeding disorder. With a cotton soaked with alcohol, clean the injection site and allow to dry. Make sure that the needle is bevel facing up upon insertion. Using one hand, pinch the muscle and inject around 75 to 90 degrees in angle between the muscle and the needle. Prior to injecting the medication, aspirate first. Remove the needle if blood is aspirated. If there's none, then slowly inject the vaccine at a rate of 1 ml over 10 seconds. Prepare a cotton and remove the needle. Apply gentle pressure to the site and then apply the bandage. Again, close the needle with a cover and properly dispose the materials that were used. Thank the patient and the mother and remind them of the normal pain on the injection site and also for possible infection.